So here's a really quick way to get slow and reverb songs using Ableton Live. So Ableton Live, it typically will already like pitch lock your, um, your song. So it's not gonna be, if you bring the speed down, the pitch will stay the same, but um, oftentimes these slow and reverbed uh, versions you may have seen on YouTube and things like that, they also bring the pitch down. So the way you can just do that in Ableton is, so uh, right here, I just have this random song thrown in. I'm going to hit this warp button you'll see right here warp and then can bring down the speed here before i even play i'm just gonna bring the pitch down to hopefully help with the uh copyright uh police situation so yeah i'm just bringing the pitch down a little bit so here is pitch down and slowed down all right skipping ahead to a spot with drums all right and to add that reverb even adding in a basic ableton's reverb so i just dragged in that whole folder and then yeah i mean things you may want to tweak here. Could be your decay time, decay time, dry wet. So here how it sounds at like half dry wet, two second decay. Drums in. Let's go somewhere with drums in. Right. Yes, you think that's too slow. Feel free to bump up your global tempo after you've already had it warped here. I like to do it at uh, either Complex or Complex Pro. Uh, you can experiment with those, but these kind of sound a little better in my opinion. All right. And if you want to experiment with a more aggressive reverb, you can see what that sounds like. Oh boy. All right, super, super washed out. Probably want to dial it back a little bit. All right, if that three seconds is too aggressive, bring it back down. Here's a second and a half. Without the reverb. Put it back on. And then, yeah, you can do the pitch to taste. That's that's four semitones down. Um, experiment with, with less aggressive. Here's two half steps down. Yeah, and then also you just have the, um, the freedom to get very... Uh, very aggressive with the uh, tempo. We're bringing the tempo way down if that's what you're into. Aggressive pitch down. <laughs> yeah, only to be careful of you may have heard like when it goes aggressively too far in the direction, you might get these strange artifacty type sounds. You may want to avoid, so maybe you don't want to go too far up or down. But um, yeah, that's how you typically would get like a slow and reverb you might see. So like unrelated to that, you can get yourself a pitched up version through into that. So again, just right here, you just got this pitch knob within the clip. So bring that up, this is up in an octave. Somewhere with the vocals, so you hear that. A little faster, you need like faster and sped up version. So maybe with that faster and sped up version, you'd experiment with um, having the reverb off. And then going back to the low version. Low. Reverb back on. All right, so there's a few uh, simple tips on how to slow and reverb a song within Ableton. Let me know if you have any other questions. And one last tip is to definitely experiment with the new in Live 11.3. They have this awesome auto warp feature. So in addition, if you didn't want to just you know slow and reverb, you wanted also you know, maybe add in some drums, add in some arpeggios, make like more of a remix instead of just um, slowing and reverbing. You can easily do that with uh, Ableton 11.3's new auto warp feature. So definitely recommend checking that out. Kind of like really quickly gets it locked in a tempo for you. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more music and tech tips and things of that nature. I'll catch you next time. Peace.